What's up everybody, Jeremy at Gilbrook Farm. Today we're gonna to do an experimental cooking video. A few videos back, I cooked a steak uh, using convection roast in our new oven, new kitchen. It was just kind of an experimental thing, figure out how to use the oven and make my first cooking video. A few of you were like, cool, make some more cooking videos, I like that. Well, today is kind of a cooking video, but it's more of an, a cooking method experiment. I haven't researched this, I don't know if it's gonna work, but theoretically I think it will. Can you smoke a steak? And if you can, can you do it using nothing but the sun, specifically a solar oven like this All-American Sun Oven? We've had this for a while, we love it. Haven't used it in quite a few years. It's been storage as we were building the house, but uh, this time of year in July, it's super hot, super sunny. This thing works great. You can cook just about anything and it doesn't take gas or charcoal or wood or any other kind of pellets or anything like that. It just uses the sun. I'm gonna use a flat iron steak because I have it relatively inexpensive so if this fails then I won't really be out too much money because steak is expensive right now uh, can we smoke a steak if we can can we do it in this and I'll go ahead and I'll share the marinade recipe that I have uh, that I used in the other video people were asking what's the secret marinade well it's not too much of a secret so I'll make it up and I'll, I'll uh, show you the ingredients and all that so let's get to work see if this works and if it does cool so this is the sun oven. It's all buttoned up right now, portable. Uh, today is relatively overcast and cloudy, but it's pretty warm. We don't need it to be super hot in the oven. We need it to be around 275 so we can actually do smoking and not baking. So we're gonna open this up and see how hot we can get it first. And if we can get it up to temp, then we'll go ahead and start making the steak. Now it's not quite noon yet, so the sun goes this way on our property, and uh, probably around one or two o'clock in the afternoon is when it'll be really hitting right here. This is the perfect spot to put the sun oven for afternoon cooking, uh, based on the way the sun hits us. So I'm just gonna open this up, set it up, and let it, you know, see what happens as far as the uh, temperature inside. All you do is open this little satellite dish looking thing, and it's got a thermometer in here. And uh, I think we'll just, it's got a little thing in the back here that you can angle it like so. Point it towards the sun. So we'll, we'll try that right now. And just let it sit and see what we get up to. Okay, first thing you're probably wondering is how the heck do you plan on smoking in a sun oven? A sun oven is not a smoker. You are correct. So we are going to use a smoke tube. My buddy Jeff turned me on to this. He got one and loves it, so I got one to try. Uh, I've used it only one time and it seems to work pretty well. So all it is is a hexagon tube with holes in it and you fill it with pellets, smoke pellets. And light it, blow it out, and it emits a bunch of smoke. And it lasts two, three, four hours depending on the day. Uh, when I tried it, it was a little windy, so it was kind of getting a lot of air in the grill. Today is not windy, so I think this will work great. Plus it'll be in the sun oven, completely enclosed. So we're gonna use that. In order to monitor temperatures, we're gonna use our uh, Bluetooth temperature probe gadget that connects to your phone. I got this the other day and it's freaking awesome. It makes cooking meat a game changer. You never have to guess on, you don't cook by time, you cook by temperature. It's awesome. Get one. So this is the sun oven rack. It just kind of sits in there. I'm going to cook the meat directly on this rack and then I'm going to take this 9 by 13 pan, cover it with foil and use it as a drip tray underneath and set the smoker on there as well, the smoke tube. That's the experiment. That's what we're going to try and pull off. There's our drip pan. One of the challenges of trying to smoke a lean piece of meat, like a steak or fish or chicken breast, is it wants to dry out because you're cooking it for such a long time at a low temperature. So we're gonna try and uh, do a marinade and soak this steak for at least four hours in this marinade. So I'll show you how I make the marinade next. I do this for all the steaks I make because I just love the way it tastes. Here's our experimental steak. This is a grass-fed flat iron steak. Onto the marinade. This is a kind of a ripoff of D Dale's steak seasoning, which you can buy in the store. Uh, I use a lot of it. It's a soy-based, soy sauce-based seasoning. So I figured out a way to make my own. 
Just use a little container uh, that's big enough to fit the, the meat you're gonna cook and the, the amount you make is dependent completely on how much meat you're doing. So adjust the ratios for how much you need to make. So we need to make enough to cover this piece of flat iron steak. I use either one part of soy sauce or liquid aminos. We use liquid aminos because it's a little healthier for you, supposedly, uh, than soy sauce. So I need about, I don't know, however much that is. I'm gonna go ahead and do three quarters of a cup of liquid aminos and three quarters of a cup of water. If you had to make more, you, it's a one-to-one -one ratio of liquid aminos or soy to water. So this is what I'm talking about. It's a soy protein seasoning. It's not soy sauce, but it tastes like soy sauce. A third of a cup, and then do a third of a cup of water. And the reason I dilute it is if you let it marinate for a long time, it gets too strong, a little bit too salty. So even the commercial marinade, I always dilute it. The rest is simple. It's just garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne, and ginger powder and you mix it all up. Garlic powder, I mean, this is to taste, so I'm not a big measurer. Jamie's not a big measurer. We just kind of do it. If you like garlic, put more in. Onion, typically onion powder. I don't have onion powder, so we're going to use minced onion. But Teaspoon, cayenne. This is to, stay, to taste as well. Some people like more spice. A little bit goes a long way. And then this, I believe, is the key to this marinade. About half a tablespoon of ginger. And that's it, just stir it up, put your meat in there and let it set for at least three hours, four hours. Mix this up. All right, now you'll want some fire gloves or oven mitts or pot holders or anything to protect your hands from handling the smoke tube because it gets super hot. And we're gonna pack this get it ready. I use, um, I think this is the competition blend from Pit Boss, smoking pellets. I buy it in 40 pound bags and then I keep a gallon bag in the pantry so it's convenient. And I just fill this thing up. Full, it probably lasts four hours. They say six, but me. Eh. So I'm gonna fill it. When I did the first experiment with it, I only filled it to about there and it lasted about 45 minutes. So we're gonna fill it this time. Right, it's filled to about there. I need to give it room so that when you lay it down, it doesn't spill. Okay, let's talk about this little thing. Um, I recently got a gas grill. I like charcoal cooking, I like gas cooking. I, I was uh, on the fence about getting a pellet smoker. Uh, I didn't wanna have a separate smoker and a separate grill, so I went ahead and try, uh, got this to try. You can use this to do hot smoking. That is light it, let it smoke, put it on your grill while you're low roasting a piece of meat. You can use this to do cold smoking if you wanna do cheese. That is to light it and let it just provide its own smoke, but no other heat source. So you can put it on your grill with a plate of cheese, but don't turn the grill on, just have it in any enclosed space and let it do its smoking thing. I haven't tried cheese yet. I, ha I definitely want to do that, but uh, maybe that'll be another time. But this makes, this is like 15 bucks and it gives you the versatility to turn your propane or charcoal grill into a smoker. Possibly a sun oven as well. We're gonna find out. All right, I'm gonna take our steak out of the marinade and pat it dry. You don't want to rinse it, get all the goodies off of it, so we're just gonna pat it dry. You can see how the uh, marinade changed the color a little bit, it soaks in real nice. Now, I use a Montreal steak seasoning on pretty much all of my steaks. With it patted dry, 
give it a good coating of this stuff and kind of mash it in there. It's a good dry rub type of deal. And then some pepper. There's a little bit of pepper in the Montreal steak seasoning, but I like pepper. Gives it a nice crust. And we're gonna let that set come to room temperature. A few clouds, not bad. Got some sun, a little over 250, I think, getting to 250 there. So we're almost ready to start getting the meat ready. So like a lot of you out there, Jamie and I, at the end of a long day, enjoy sitting here on the deck with a delicious adult beverage and watch the sunset. Maybe I'm becoming more discerning as I get older, but right now I'm into trying all different kinds of like craft cocktails. And you know how we like to experiment with different kinds of subscription boxes out there. It's just a fun thing to do. It doesn't cost a lot of money. So with that in mind, Shaker and Spoon is pretty cool. This is a monthly subscription service that delivers the craft cocktail experience right to your front door. Each month you receive a box with three one-of-a-kind recipes created by world-class bartenders, as well as enough ingredients like syrups, bitters, aromatics, and garnishes to make up to 12 cocktails. You only need to buy and add your favorite liquor. The first box just arrived, and I love a good bourbon, so I picked their, uh, what's it called, Bring on the Bourbon box. And we're gonna make one of each cocktails in this box try them out. I want to see which one pairs best with like smoked meat since that's what we're doing today. So let's see what we have. This is what it looks like. This serves 12 cocktails, four per recipe, and there are three recipes. This one's called Is It Summer Yet? This one's called the Kalusahatchee and the Chaco Facto. I think that's gonna be Jamie's favorite. Fancy umbrellas, chili threads, waxican chocolate syrup, lemongrass, ginger lemon syrup. This is honey pear premium reserve soda. Never heard of that. Strawberry rhubarb syrup. I would never go and buy a whole bottle of this stuff. Limonade a la Francois. French sparkling orange refresher. Ah, they're all put together, so make sure you check the whole box. The first one we're gonna make is called, Is It Summer Yet? Okay, we got our two ounces of bourbon. This is the strawberry rhubarb syrup. Mmm, smells exactly like strawberry and rhubarb. Okay, this is the is it summer yet? Taste tester. Okay, so I love bourbon, but I like my bourbon straight on the rocks. <laughs> not really mixed in, so we're gonna try this and see. I don't normally get on camera, but man, bourbon drink, I gotta try it. Holy crap, that's good. Is it? Yeah. You can drink that? It's pretty good. <laughs> it has a unique smell too. Is that the sage? That's the sage mm -hmm. spritz. It's not. No corn syrup? Yeah, so it is actually good ingredients, not, not trash. It's good for you, bourbon. So what I like about this is having all the ingredients in one place. It's super convenient, and some of this stuff can be pretty hard to find. You can taste the strawberry and the rhubarb. Mm. That's it's a good unique. summer drink. It's a good, unique drink. It's a sipper when you're sitting on the porch mm -hmm. in the hot sun. Choco Facto. Chocolate syrup. Barrel aged coffee bitters. One, two. Strain it over a large ice cube. Choco Facto. Last one. Probably my favorite one of all. Would it go with a smoked meat? It would definitely go with a smoked meat. That's the winner. That is a good one. I like dessert. Mm. Two thumbs up. Thanks to Shaker and Spoon for sponsoring today's episode. Check out shakerandspoon.com slash Gilbrook. Use our code Gilbrook. Get $20 off your subscription. It's fun. Check it out. All right. I think we got her going. We're gonna put the rack on.
Right, we got our smoker going. We're gonna put our meat on right on the grill. The grate. We're gonna use our Thermapro meat thermometer. It's got two probes. We're gonna use one in the steak, and we're gonna use one laying here for the ambient temperature. Here's why I like this Thermopro meat thermometer. It's got an app, uses Bluetooth, connects to that uh, meat thermometer outside, and you can monitor your two probe temperatures inside. I've got the meat set to go up to about 160 degrees for a medium well, and I'm monitoring the ambient temperature. We're trying to get this back up to about 275 if we can. And it keeps track of your temperatures over time, which is pretty cool. You can set alarms at certain times to do things like flip burgers or whatever. It's really neat, I like it. I'll leave a link below. Definitely a, a definite good addition to your barbecue repertoire. Our smoker is at 270 degrees. The meat temperature is at 155 degrees, which is between medium and medium well, which works out just right where I want it to be because we need about five minutes for it to rest. The smoke tube worked great. We just have to clean off the smoke from the glass. See, and the other thing I was saying about the temperature of the sun oven says 300 degrees, but it's actually 270 based on this ambient temperature probe we have right here. And that's what I'm going by. There's our piece of smoked steak. All right, can you smoke meat specifically a steak in a solar oven. Well, we just did, and it's a flat iron steak, and it's not, it's not tough. It worked. Look how juicy it is. It's got a good smoke taste, smell. I mean, it smells smoky. The smoke tube worked the entire time we were cooking. I'm gonna call this a success, but first, let's see. That's delicious. Doesn't matter what kind of meat it is. You can smoke it in the sun oven with a smoke tube. Hmm. I definitely recommend giving this a try if you have a solar oven, a sun oven. If you don't have one, get one because they don't require any fuel. This is incredible. I'm gonna make a couple sides, plate it up, and eat. I want to thank uh, Shaker and Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Check them out in the link below. Use my code, get $20 off the subscription for that. Man, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. It's the next day, cleaned up nicely. All the smoke got off the uh, glass, no problems. So ready to go again.